Hey guys, it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living where I help women create and build their dream lives in a body that they love while on a budget that they can afford. Today is Saturday, August 20th and I need to go to the grocery store. So in today's video, we are going to do a grocery haul as well as weigh in Wednesday. Okay, it's not Wednesday, but I realized I have not done a weigh-in on the channel and oh my gosh like since before we went hiking so we need to definitely like catch up and I need to let you guys know what's going on there but I am so excited about today's grocery haul because I actually have like $89 let me go grab my phone yeah so I have $89 worth of groceries so $89 worth of groceries that is huge oh my gosh I'm so excited because as you guys know Grocery prices are ridiculous right now. So believe it or not, I actually created a meal plan, so to speak, but I kind of feel like I don't want any of that. I feel like I just want to go to the grocery store, walk the aisles and see what I find, like see what's on sale and maybe make some meals from there. So I will do my best to take you guys with me in the grocery store. Sometimes it's kind of awkward filming like in public, but we'll see, we'll see. Let's go. Hey guys, I do have to apologize. I guess I didn't realize that um, there was music playing in the background, so I didn't want to get hit with the copyright strike. So what I will do is like probably talk through the majority of this. So here I was looking for some shrimp and I have to be honest with you guys, I like to keep cooking very simple and easy. So there are little things like bothering me like the tail long and with the shrimp not being devein. Like I just didn't want to go through all of that. So I was looking for something that was already devein and something that also had the tail already off for a good price. So you can see here I grabbed two bags of that for $6.99 for tomorrow's meal prep. Next, I went over to see if there was any ground turkey for sale. Usually, whenever ground turkey is on sale, I snag it. I was able to grab three pounds for $10.99 today, so that was pretty decent. As a family, we really don't eat a lot of beef. However, I am anemic, and for some reason, like whenever I crave it, I crave it. And usually I know that that's probably during a time where my iron levels are probably a little low. So I did grab these burgers just to have on hand for whenever I wanted them. They were, I think like $9.99 or $9.49. Then I also went over, because anytime there's like um, Chuck Rose um, on sale, I try to grab that too and just throw it in the freezer because typically we can use like a small amount and I'll make a stew and then we're able to feed like our entire family from that. So I did grab one of those. It wasn't too bad. It was on sale. So I thought it was a pretty decent price. And then here I was looking at, you know, these weekend prices, weekend sales, and they were just not that, um, yeah, I didn't feel that it was worth buying. I felt that I could just wait and hold off a little bit. And then I went over and I was looking at the chicken and you know, that looks like a really good deal, right? It definitely does. So it wasn't too bad, like the chicken thighs weren't too bad, but I did have a pack of chicken thighs at home that I was planning to use. But I saw that these drumsticks were marked down to like eight bucks or so, 8.28. So I went ahead and grabbed a pack of drumsticks because I can use those in almost anything. And then the chicken breast, I really wanted to buy some chicken breast. $16 looked like a pretty good deal, but I just felt like I could probably find it at a better price if I waited for a while, so I didn't grab any chicken breasts on this trip. Next, I noticed that the Jimmy Dean bacon was um, buy one, get one. However, why is the original price $10.99? Like, yeah, it's good, but not good. So I went over to where the rest of the bacon was and I was actually able to find some that said hormone free and no antibiotics. So I just bought one pack for $6.99. So I could have saved money, but I just felt like this may be a better choice. I was debating to get one or two, but my family doesn't eat a lot of bacon. So I just went ahead and got one of those. So for this week's meal prep, I will be making cracked chicken. So I also needed some ranch dressing and that's what I was purchasing. So while I was on this aisle, I was reminded that we are nearly out of ketchup. So I turned around, I was just looking for like plain ketchup, no sugar added, just plain ketchup. It blows my mind as to why so many things are added to something as simple as ketchup. So I couldn't find anything that was like within our price range that was decent, so I grabbed the Simply Ketchup, only to later find out that it does have cane sugar in it. Next, I was looking for a little snacky snack because I need to stop eating these freaking chips from the summer. So I grabbed some pickles because they also have the crunch. So yeah. 
grab some baby deals. Okay, so I just decided that I want like some stuffed peppers, but I don't know if I want it to be like a spaghetti style or if I want it to be like a taco style. So right now I'm looking at the spaghetti sauces to see if I can find anything that's like low carb and no sugar. Let's see. So I was scanning my grocery store just to see what were my options as far as no sugar or maybe low sugar. Um, again, I noticed they had the rose, which is nice. I love it, but it's $8.49. And I just didn't feel I wanted to buy in this week's grocery haul. Um, so I flipped it over just to look at the ingredients. Six total grams of, sh of carbs, four grams of sugar. So I was looking for something to kind of match that. I did find the Prego, which was no sugar added. And it mentioned that it had nine grams of carbs, six grams of sugar. But somehow I convinced myself I would just make my own um, marinara sauce, which was a lie. <laughs> but I did go over and decide I would just do taco stuffed peppers instead. So I just got some taco seasoning. Um, and then after that, I tried to choose one that was like less sodium. And then I went and grabbed some salsa because, you know, salsa doesn't like have sugar in it. At least not the one. Um, that I chose here well I'm sorry one gram of sugar but better than the marinara sauce so yeah then I also noticed these um, cold infused like for your water that these water enhancers that were on sale and they were 50% off so I thought hey I'll give it a try I got the mango and passion fruit and it has five calories no carbohydrates I thought this was something that I would use um, during my fast However, once I came home and I did a little bit more research, I learned that sometimes anything that has flavoring can throw you out of your fasting window. You guys, I'm just learning. Please don't come for me. So I went over and I got more coffee. Um, the coffee that I like, the organic K-Cups were marked down to $6.99. So I picked up two of those. I'll be having black coffee during my fasting window. I went over and I also looked for some nuts just to, you know, like as some fillers, but the prices were ridiculous. I just couldn't do it. But I grabbed my popcorn that I love. It was on sale for $2.99 and whenever it's on sale, I tend to buy it. I also purchased some tomatoes because I want to make this, I believe it's pronounced caprese salad. I don't know, I've never made it, but I wanted to make it in this week's meal prep. And then I also purchased some mushroom. My husband loves mushrooms. So whenever they're on sale, I tend to buy those as well, like for his omelets and other dishes. And then I also went over to buy the peppers. So the bell peppers for the stuffed peppers, they were on sale for 99 cents each. And then the other ones were $1.99 each. So I just went ahead and picked up a mixture, of course, buy more regular green bell peppers than the color peppers. Um, so yeah, I bought a few of those as well. I also noticed that the avocado and mango were on sale um, four for five. So I picked up four avocados and one mango. You can see here, I grabbed that one. And then I was like, oh no, I think the other looks a little better. So I grabbed that one instead. Then I went over and grabbed some asparagus because I do need that in this week's meal prep. But later I did purchase more from Aldi because they look a lot better than this one. Um, next I went over to get eggs. So typically I like to buy cage-free eggs or home hormone-free eggs. Um, our ducks are not laying a lot of eggs right now. So I was just looking at some of these prices. I could like $7 almost for a dozen of eggs is ridiculous. So I did find these cage-free brown eggs for $3.29. Um, I'm sure everyone kind of goes through and checks to make sure none are broken or just look crazy. So I did pick up a dozen of cage-free brown eggs for $3.29. Next, I went and bought my husband this yogurt. He loves this stuff, doesn't have it often because a lot of times either you can't find it or the prices are marked up. So this was $109, definitely a splurge item, but hey, he loves it. And next, I needed to go and buy some cream cheese for the cracked chicken recipe that I plan to make. So I purchased two of those for $4. This stuff used to be like $1.50 each. I can't believe it. Um, next, I went over and I bought cheese. This is the type of cheese that I like to buy, the Sergenos. Um, however, it was not on sale, so I just purchased the 
store brand, which was two for five dollars. So I got um, two of the sharp cheddar, and then I also bought a pack of mozzarella as well as Parmesan. Um, I know that dairy can be inflammatory, but this is one item like cheese that I haven't been willing to give up yet. And then I went over and also purchased more butter because if it's ever marked down, I tend to buy the unsalted butter. Um, and then more cheese, um, just like as a little snack sometimes, I like to have a serving of cheese. And I also picked up um, the mozzarella to slice into cheese balls for the salad that I'll be making in this sweet smell prep. I'll also note that I was like back and forth in the grocery store today since I didn't have a list. And I was also, I ran into people that I knew and I was like talking and getting so distracted. And that used to annoy the crap out of me. But since the pandemic, I really started to embrace that and just enjoy the time. As long as I'm not in a hurry, I take the time to talk to people when I see them. You guys, I am blown away with how expensive food is. Like, it seems like every time I go to the grocery store, surprise! Like, you just can't, I can't even predict what the grocery budget would be anymore. And that's ridiculous to me. Hold on, my camera's cricket. Anyway, so I'm going to flip the camera around and show you guys what I got. So I went to, um... I went to Winn-Dixie, which is the chain of SC Grocers, and I thought I would be like, oh my gosh, free grocery haul, but no, no, not free. Um, I also went to Aldi because I wanted like a few fun things, so I'll show you what I got from Aldi first, and then I'm going to show you guys what I got from um, Winn-Dixie. So from Aldi, I just got some rice cakes and some cucumbers, cream cheese, some Brussels sprouts more asparagus because I did buy some from Winn-Dixie but this looked a lot better than the ones I got from Winn-Dixie and then how do you pronounce this is it pepitas I don't know but I've seen people eating these things they're full of like protein and fat so I wanted them on my salads I, I'm gonna try them and dragon fruit and I wanted to try these egg wraps like it says that um, there's no gluten, no grain, so there's six of them in here, so I just wanted to try those. I think I'll have that tonight. Um, and then cheese. Yeah, green onions, that's all. And I think this was, this was $31.41. I also want to add that by going to Aldi immediately following Winn-Dixie, what I've noticed is that, like, I like Winn-Dixie because sometimes I can, like, get all of these points and then, you know, they add up to free groceries. But Aldi, like, on a lot of things, they were significantly lower. So I need to, I think I'm going to think twice about that. For those of you that have been following the channel for a while, you know that my husband and I both work in healthcare. So during the pandemic, we did not travel. So 2020, 2021, like we really did not travel very much. So like all the traveling we did this summer, we still have one more trip to go. It's not, um, I would not consider like a, a huge part of our norm. But I guess what I'm trying to say is that I've had a hot girl summer, a very spendy summer. But for fall, we're like, you know, cutting back again on the budget. Um, so... I'm considering maybe just doing my grocery hauls at Aldi because I need to save money and with the prices of food right now, inflation is definitely kicking my butt. All right, let's see what we got from Winn-Dixie. All right, so what I will do, this is what, this is it. Like I could not believe it. I really thought I would be able to get more food than this. Well, my husband's still taking food out of the car, but I think this is it. Um, anyways, if he comes and adds, adds more stuff, then I'll put it like over there. I think he brought in the last of it and then got sidetracked and he's probably outside with the ducks, but here we go. So pickles, asparagus, butter, got some garlic, we've got ketchup. I was looking for some no sugar ketchup. This was the best I can do with how much I was willing to spend. So this, oh shoot, cane sugar. Freaking, why do they put ketchup, why do they put sugar in everything? Oh my gosh. That just made me think about that one reel on Instagram, TikTok. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, God, Lee. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the grocery. Okay, where was I? So I got some pepper and mushroom eggs. 
mozzarella cheese. I got some shrimp because in tomorrow's meal prep, I'm gonna meal prep tonight, but I've actually started um, intermittent fasting, not long term. I'm just doing this for this week because I've gotten a bit more fluffy. Um, speaking of which, we need to talk about that too. This video is literally all over the place, but I told you guys we were gonna talk about the weigh-in. So the last time that I weighed in was um, the week before, like I think a week or two before we left to go to California. Well, I have had such an amazing summer. Um, I've gained 2.6 pounds like since then. Oh my gosh. I weighed in on Monday. Where's my phone? Yeah, so I weighed in on Monday and I weighed in, put the scale thing here, at 232.4. <laughs> It's not funny. Okay, it, it's kind of funny. Oh, all right, let me just say, like, I'm laughing because I've just really been having a good time. Like, I have not been measuring my food. I haven't been tracking. I haven't. I have one more vacation plan. And then after that, we're gonna buckle down. I promise, guys, like, I promise. But for this week, I am intermittent fasting, which is why I wanted to do the meal prep and upload that video today. However, I have a six hour eating window, so I need to film this, eat, then edit, and then start cooking and all of that goes. To the grocery haul, I'm sorry, squirrel. All right, so as I mentioned, we've got some shrimp. This will be a part of the meal prep for the week. Mandarin oranges and coffee, banana and cheese, diced tomatoes, chili garlic sauce. I really enjoy that. And then I picked this up. Popcorn, cheese, mango, and avocado. I think I said the blueberries and bacon, um, ground turkey. And I bought these drumsticks that were a quick purchase. These, some clips from the grocery store of how I made that decision. Okay, so I have to admit, at first I was a little disappointed because I tried my best. I took my time and I tried to find the most affordable options um, for us to get us through the week. This may last like a week and a half. However, when she did my total, it was a total of 185.21. So you guys know I typically try to stay around $200 a week, which is higher, like it's keep, it keeps going up. So $200 has been our most recent norm, $200 a week. So I'm a little like, I not had the $89 off and I use coupons, I clip coupons on the app and everything. Like all of this food would have just this little bit would have been almost two hundred dollars, but eighty nine dollars off. So I left the store paying ninety five dollars and seventy four cents. But if you guys go back and look at my other video, I'll link it here, and you'll see how much free food I got, and it was a lot more. And that was just and even at that time I thought food was really expensive. But yeah, that video was a couple months ago, and you can just see like how. The difference, like how much more food is right now. So anyways, I don't wanna, like I'm not complaining. I'm definitely not complaining. I'm very thankful that we're able to still put food on the table, but uh, it's just, it's crazy. So in tomorrow's meal prep, please come back. Please come back. I know I've been MIA for a while. We've had a lot of family stuff going on, but in tomorrow's video, you guys will see do like some shrimp stuff easy you guys know i like quick easy meal preps it will be mostly like all low carb um because like i said this week i'm trying to get back on it and in full transparency i'm kind of playing around with the whole intermittent fasting thing because i'm wondering if i could start intermittent fasting and maybe even convince my husband to do it he has done intermittent fasting before as a matter of fact he does it quite often so maybe if the two of us did it, it will help save on our grocery budget. It's just a thought, just a thought. Yeah, so I paid a total of $95.74 for this one and then the $31 and change for the other. So I'm doing my best guys, doing my best. But I am so happy that you're here. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.